Welcome to Edinovs practical session of vernier calipers. While performing experiments in physics laboratory, we are required to measure lengths of very small objects frequently. Generally, we use meter scale to measure lengths. Meter scale can be used to measure lengths up to 1 mm. But to measure lengths less than 1 mm, there are some special devices like vernier calipers and screw guide. aim to determine the volume of given cylinder and sphere by measuring length and diameter with the vernier calipers apparatus vernier calipers and sphere now the first step is to find the least count and the zero error of the given vernier calipers to do so first we bring the movable jaw in contact with the fixed jaw now as per the given formula least count of the vernier calipers is equal to length of one main scale division divided by number of divisions on the vernier scale as you can see here the length of one main scale division is equal to 1 mm and the number of divisions on the vernier scale are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 the total number of divisions on the vernier scale are 10 therefore least count is equal to 1 divided by 10 that is equal to 0.1 mm or 0.01 cm now after determining the least count of the given vernier calipers we have to find out the zero error if any bring the mobile jaw to come in contact with the fixed jaw now observe zero of both the scales here zero of the main scale is exactly coinciding with the zero of the vernier scale therefore there is no zero error in this vernier calipers repeat the same procedure for three times and confirm the zero error if the zero of the vernier scale is to the right side of the zero of the main scale then there is a positive zero error if the zero of the vernier scale is to the left side of the main scale then there is a negative zero error therefore we need to calculate zero correction accordingly as explained before now we proceed further to measure the diameter of the given spherical body gently fix the given bob between the jaws until it is held firmly without any undue pressure after that we tighten the screw to lock the vernier scale observe the main scale division which is just before the zero of the vernier scale here it is 1.8 cm this gives us main scale reading now we look out for vernier division which is exactly coinciding with one of the main scale divisions here it is 4 therefore vernier coincidence is 4 now calculate the total reading as explained before total reading is equal to main scale reading plus vernier coincidence into least count that is equal to 1.8 cm plus 4 into 0.01 cm that is equal to 1.84 cm note the value in the observation table now we repeat the same procedure to calculate the diameter in the perpendicular direction repeat the same procedure at two different positions at each position we take perpendicular direction readings as well note down all the readings in the observation table value of one main scale division s is equal to 1 mm or 0.1 cm number of divisions on vernier scale n is equal to 10 therefore least count is equal to s divided by n which is 0.1 divided by 10 therefore least count is equal to 0.01 cm zero error is equal to nil
for a main scale reading of 1.8 vernier coincidence vc is equal to 4 vernier scale reading is equal to n into least count which is 4 into 0 0.01 total reading a plus b is equal to 1.8 plus 0 0.04 which is 1.84 centimeters similarly the readings for different positions of the sphere are mean diameter of the sphere d is equal to 2r which is 1.845 centimeters mean radius of the sphere r is equal to d by 2 which is 0.9225 centimeters volume of the sphere v is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube which is 3.28 centimeter cube for a main scale reading of 9.6 vernier coincidence vc is equal to 5 vernier scale reading is equal to 0 0.05 centimeters therefore total reading a plus b is equal to 9.65 centimeters similarly the readings for different positions of the cylinder are average length of the cylinder l is equal to 9.647 centimeters for a main scale reading of 6.2 Vernier coincidence VC is equal to 3. Vernier scale reading is equal to 0.03 cm. Therefore, total reading is equal to 6.23 cm. Similarly, the readings for different positions of the cylinder are Average diameter of the cylinder D is equal to 2R which is 6.235 cm. Mean radius of the cylinder R is equal to D by 2 which is 3.1175 cm. Volume of the cylinder V is equal to pi R square L cm cube which is 3.14 into 3.1175 whole square into 9.647 which is 3.14 into 9.71 into 9.647 which is 294.3 cm cube precautions when noting down the various readings cgs system of units should be followed avoid parallax error while noting down the main scale reading and vernier constant gentle pressure should be applied when holding the object with the jaws of the vernier calipers Apply zero correction if needed.